let me take this chance to, to pump up Zach Sawchenko for just a second. I mean, here's a guy who now has three appearances this season. Let me just double check these appearances. Was it January 2nd? He came into that game against Pittsburgh. It was already heavy one-sided, and he was pretty good. And then didn't he come in a second time recently at home just to get in there for the first or last two minutes of a period, I think, while Reimer had an equipment issue? And then tonight plays 40 minutes. That's huge. In a game where his team was down, they tied it, then they went down again and ended up losing by two. But how hard is it if you're Zach Sachenko to have three game appearances in a two-plus month span? Practice cannot keep you fresh. Practice cannot keep you, you know, like rhythmically correct. Practice cannot give you the adrenaline and the heart rate up and down and the game. It can't do that. So hard for Zach Sawchenko. I give him full credit tonight. He faced 10 shots in the second, 10 shots in the third, 18 saves on 20 total shots. Against the Golden Knights, they're dangerous. They score a bunch. Ooh, by the way, though, Las Vegas in their last eight games has just two wins. Both of those two wins against the Sharks. Forgot to mention that before. Still, Saw the way they played tonight. Saw the way that Sachenko played tonight. I said it before. This has nothing to do with a fatigue level for Reimer. This was more of a mental thing I was saying for Reimer a while back. Wouldn't it be nice to give him a night just in the press box? Like, for example, this past weekend, playing a Saturday and a Sunday. Give him one of those nights in the press box just to mentally unwrap things. He was, he was playing good during the 13-game-in-a-row streak. I think he was great last game against Seattle. But maybe one of those nights off might have helped him in the long run to bounce back even stronger. I'm saying it more from a mental reprieve than a physical reprieve. So I, I've, I've, I've been saying all along, yes, yeah, Sawchenko, if, he, if he's there and Hill is that far away, probably going to see Zach Sawchenko once in a while. I'm happy for him to come in there and do what he did tonight. Does it buy him more opportunity? I don't know. Is Aiden Hill ready right around the corner? I don't know. But I think a statement was made tonight by Sachenko, and not just the way he played, but the few opportunities he's had since beginning of January to make an impact and how rusty he could have been tonight, I was highly impressed.